everybody, it's another great day for a workout here on Jessica Smith TV. Today's workout is Cardio Ball Ballet. So you don't need shoes. You need a small amount of space and something squishy to hold on to. I don't recommend using a weighted ball for this because it's cardio. Grab anything around the house, a small pillow, your kids' teddy bears, whatever you can make work for this, okay? Let's have a little fun today. So join me with a little side to side toe tap. So this is not gonna be a hit workout, right? But we're gonna keep your heart rate steadily elevated so you get a pretty good, decent, steady state cardio workout today. So let's steady the feet and just continue to warm things up by taking a nice gentle plie, bending the knees out over the toes. So it's really small to start. We don't wanna drop down too quickly. Good, so let's get the arms going. You're just gonna reach your arms out, holding that ball gently between the hands. And let's take the ball down towards the floor and in front of the chest. Now in a plie position, you wanna keep your shoulders over your hips, different than a squat where you sit back into them, right? So feel those knees opening out over the toes. Abs are gently hugging your spine for support. Beautiful. Now let's go ahead and start to make this a little bit bigger by raising the arms over the head as those legs extend. Good. Now if you're warmed up and you want to drop down deeply into that plie right off the bat, feel free. Just remember we always want you to be listening to your body at all times during the workouts. Beautiful. So we're going to progress this from here. And as you start to extend, I want you to shift your weight over to the side, tap your toe, switch to your plie, toe tap. So we still have that nice full range of motion with those arms. So we should be starting to feel that heart rate elevating more. Good, that's it, nice. Down, tap, down, tap. So I have to thank you guys for your suggestions. So many of you wanted to see another cardio ball blast and so many of you wanted to see another cardio ballet workout. So I thought maybe we could experiment and see how it worked by putting them together. So you'll have to let me know what you think. Give me four more. Last two. Beautiful, now we're gonna take that plie and we're just gonna pulse it. So step a little wider. Press into that ball. Keep the abs in tight. Just start to gently push into whatever you're holding onto in between your hands. If it's a teddy bear, the poor thing, squish him a little bit, give him a good squeeze. Good. Now all I want you to do is lift your right heel off the floor. Switch to your left heel. Yeah. Switch back. Lift. Switch. Lift. Now you can keep switching here or try to give me both heels lower. Both heels lower. So a little balance involved. You're still pushing into that ball with that little pulse. Good. Nice. Let's do four, and lift, three, and lift. We're gonna do two more like this. Good, final set. Take the heels down, take them up. Now hold them down. Now we're gonna hold the legs here and just give me a little rotation through your abs. So you're gonna keep squeezing into that ball. Drop down as deeply as you can into that plie. Keep the knees opening out over the toes. Yes, wake up those abs, beautiful. So you're gonna see some different styles of movements today. It's not gonna be strictly ballet moves, but it's ballet inspired, right? Good, now from here, hold it center, give me a little lunge from side to side. Woo, we need a break for those thighs, right? Good, so just shifting the weight again, we want the knees over the toes, incorporating that ball movement. Let's start to take a little figure eight scoop. So when we use the ball, we're gonna really utilize this figure eight pattern a bit because it's so great for working our core body, but also just keeping that heart rate up without having to jump, right? This nice big range of motion with the arms and the shoulders can help raise that heart rate. Beautiful, nice. Now just make that figure eight a little bit bigger if you can. Scoop it out. 
So we're going down and around. Think to the back wall and then up and over. Yes. Nice. Beautiful. Four. Three. Two. Now we're going to hold that plie pulse again. All I want you to do is rotate this knee and hip so that we're into a little pulsing lunge now. Good, so you decide how low you're ready to go. I want you to hold on to the ball with your front arm, and we're just gonna start to push front, front with that arm. Now we're gonna start to use the abs more with a little twist. So look at how my shoulders are turning. I'm thinking of twisting this front shoulder into my back lunging leg. Just push, push, push. Good. This is why I didn't want you to use a weighted ball, right? It'd be real difficult to do this one with a med ball. Squeeze. Good. Couple more counts. We got four, three, two. Take the arms overhead. Grab that ball again with both hands. Beautiful. Now, from here, you're gonna take the ball down to your thighs, tap and lift. So I want a little shift of your weight. Come down, point the back toe. Reach up tall. Yes, now if you've got this, and you want a little more, I want you to push off that back foot. Give me a low arabesque, so it's not very high. We're just kind of testing the balance here. Good, but this big range of motion should have your heart rate elevated, right? So again, this is kind of our sneaky cardio workout. You may not feel too much during the workout, but afterwards, hopefully you're gonna feel pleasantly worked. Four more, please. Lift. Two more. One more. Take it back to that center plie. Who knows, maybe we will feel it a lot while we're working. We're still just getting going, right? Let's pivot the other leg so that we're facing that little side lunge pulse. So now we're gonna switch the hand that takes the ball Front hand, just do the press first, push. And notice I'm not really fully extending my arm out because it's quick. So then, we're gonna start to add that little twist. Good, so anytime you're taking this nice quick pulse, you don't have to go huge with your movements. Little balance challenge in there too, right? Turn that shoulder forward, nice. Good. That's it. Couple more, then we're moving on. In four, three, two. Grab the ball, take it over your head, pulse. Nice. So get ready. Take it down to the thigh, shift forward, and your tap. Down, tap. So I want you to lift as tall as you can as you tap those back toes. Lift up. Beautiful, again, your option, hold it here or lengthen and lift that back leg. Doesn't have to go high. Gorgeous. Feel yourself getting taller at the top. Reach it up. Very nice. Just give me four more to finish this set. It's four, three, two, Take it back to your plie pulse, hold. I want you to repeat with me those figure eight lunges. Let's start to our left, just the lunge. Make sure your feet are wide enough that your toes comfortably, your knees comfortably go over your toes. That's what I was trying to say. Add your figure eight when you're ready. Scoop. And again, feel free to make this as big as you want. We should be nice and warm by now. So you just go for it. Left, left, good. How you feel, yes? Is your breathing elevated, but steady? Good, that's where we want it. Probably starting to break a little sweat, starting to sparkle a bit. Nice, beautiful. Stay with me for four, three, two, and one, now take it back to your plie. We're not gonna stay here too long. I know you're going, all oh, these plies, my thighs. Great way to get the heart rate up. Ballet dancers do a ton of plies. So we're gonna shift our weight. 
I want you to travel to the left, slide your other heel in, step back out, plie pulse. One, two, three, slide and squeeze. Out, two, three, squeeze. Out, two, three. Let's add your arms. You're gonna reach, you're gonna lift tall. Reach, lift. Now use those inner thighs to slide that heel in, yeah? Good. So we're gonna get low and deep while we're taking that pulsing plie. So we're gonna take this to singles in a second. You may not have time to get as low. So just do what you can. Get ready, give me singles. Take it down, squeeze. Down, squeeze. Keep that nice tall spine. Abs are in. Yes. Come on, big range of motion with those arms. You got it. Zip it up. Zip. Woo. Beautiful. Eight. Seven. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Now hold it down, pulse. Bring that ball back in front of you. We're gonna take our right leg, cross it behind, a little bit of a curtsy lunge. Nothing too much. Step back out to that plie squat. Other leg crosses back, curtsy. So I'm gonna sit back on my hips a little bit on that curtsy, plie. Curtsy pulse, yes. Step it out, beautiful. Curtsy the other way. Now you know there's arms in this, right? So we're gonna reach up. Now I want you to reach down and across with that right arm. Towards the floor, reach up tall, pulse and plie. Other hand takes it across as you curtsy. Again, lift up tall, pulse. Two, three, switch, reach cross and down, but keep your spine long and neutral, pause. So don't round your back, switch. Can we do this on a two count? Take it up. One, two, switch, curtsy. One, two, curtsy. One, two, yes. Beautiful, now single it out. Plie, curtsy, plie, curtsy. So I'm not coming up. You gotta stay low, basically, to make this quick, right? Plie, curtsy, cross. Eight more, please, it's eight. Seven, yes, I'm gonna give your thighs a break after this, I promise. I'm feeling mine too. Four, three, you're not crazy. Two, and one, hold. Give me a little toe tap, turn it towards the right, woo! So breathe. But keep working through your feet, right? Point through those toes. Are you with me? Good. So we're gonna push the ball out, in, out, in. Reach, pull it. Keep that spine tall. Check in with your abs. Nice. Now let's see if we can shift the weight a little further and start to lift the legs low. So it's fast, we don't have to kick the legs high. Just pick through the, articulate through your feet and pick them up off the floor. So I want you to work, working through the arches of your feet here, but make sure you're not curling the toes too far under so you don't get a cramp in those feet, right? Couple more, four, three, two, and one. Just take it to your side to side toe tap. I know, I had, I had to give you a break from those plies. I promised I would. Face the other way. Just get your feet shifting that weight. Forward and back, nice and quick. Let's add your push, pull, push, pull. Nice. How you doing down there, Peanut? No sweat off your back today. When you're ready, feel free to lift the leg. Yes. Yes, good. Push. Keep that spine long. You never see a slouching ballet dancer, do you? They have such amazing posture. They're constantly engaging every muscle in their body. That's what I want you to be feeling right now. Four, three, two, side to side, step tap, yeah. So we can use our imaginations. We're not training for Swan Lake, but why not feel like we are, right? From the comfort of our own home, nobody has to see what it looks like. 
but you can imagine and you can make something feel like that in your body, right? So use your imagination with me today. You guys are doing great. Okay, so here's what I want you to do. We're gonna to start to tap into the inner thighs a little bit more. And I just want you to bring your feet together into a little first position plie pulse. Now I'm not gonna force my toes too far open because so I don't wanna strain the knees. So just make sure your feet are into a comfortable V. Again, we're not training for Swan Lake, so don't hurt yourself. And then all we're gonna do is start to cross one leg over. So let's start with the right leg. We're gonna pick it up and step it over like this. Step, plie pulse, other side. Step, plie pulse. So we bend the knees, extend the legs, pulse, extend, plie. So you're coming back to that V position with your feet in the middle, press, pulse. Now, the arm, it's gonna cross over that front hip, come back over your head, cross, plie pulse, cross. How are we doing? Yes or no, pick up that leg, push, pulse. So we kind of learn it at a slower speed so that we can pick things up in a second. Now, just give me one plie, one crossover. So it's cross, plie, cross, plie. Cross, but yeah, yes, it's quick. Make it as big as you can. Step, first position, step, first position. You gotta pick up your feet here. Cross, cross, beautiful, nice, yes. Last two, let's hold that plie, pulse it, arms overhead, good. So keep the arms lifted. Very simple movement, but it's gonna keep that heart rate elevated, right? So listen for options. Keep your posture tall. Right heel lifts slightly up. Doesn't have to go high. Switch the left heel. Good. Take it back, switch, and switch. Now you're either gonna switch at a faster tempo like this, one and two, or you're gonna give me heels down, heels up, down, up. So notice I'm still pulsing that plie. Oh boy, now let's get the arms moving because that always helps keep the heart rate high. Lower body stays the same with your option. You're gonna take the ball in your right hand, open both arms out to the sides of the shoulders, come up, switch. It's a big coordination move. So if your brain just exploded, don't worry about it. Do your best. Maybe you just need to keep the ball over your head for now. And maybe next time you do this workout, you try the ball pass. Totally up to you. Keep pressing over the balls of your feet. Make sure you don't roll out onto the sides of your ankles. Eight, seven, six, five. Yes, I know I'm here too. Four, three, two, and one. Step out to the right. Tap and breathe. Whew. Excellent work, you guys. Hang in there with me. Okay. So here's what we're gonna do. Keeping this nice side to side motion, we're gonna take the ball or whatever object you're holding onto into this right hand. We're gonna shift into the right leg. Open, close the arms. Yeah? Simple, right? So again, you can hang right here or I'm gonna start to lift the legs, yeah? Now my advanced folks out there that don't mind a little bit of impact, you can give me a little hop. Now notice I'm not going high, and I don't wanna hear any sound if you add a jump. Keeping the knees soft, land light. If you have downstairs neighbors, they should not be able to hear you do this. You're a cat right now. You're light, you're graceful. Yes, give me four, three, two, one. Take it back to your top and breathe. Good, so catch your breath a bit. Come on back down to that more comfortable level. So we're just gonna set that up on the other side by simply switching the hand that takes that ball out and in. Are you ready? So just the footwork. Out and in. So make sure those hands come back together when you shift to the other side. Out 
Good, when you're ready, you could choose to lift the feet low though, keep the legs close to the floor because this is fast tempo. And again, your option, hop if you want, but keep it light, very little impact. Nice, good, beautiful. Work through your feet, toe ball heel, soft and quiet landing, gorgeous. Keep going. Eight, seven, you can hear my voice. Heart rate is climbing. Four more. Three, two, beautiful. Tap and breathe. Okay, let's bring the feet together. Just give me a little walk in place. Nice. So from here, we'll give your feet a little breather. Just give me a high knee march, lift. So check in with your posture. Abs are in tight. So all I want you to do from here is think about now tapping the toe to the inside of your standing leg. So it's a little parallel passe position. Good. Take the arms out in front of your chest. Now we're gonna do two counts to raise the ball. Up, two, bring it back in front of your chest for two. Up for two, down for two. Lift up tall, back down. So this is our chance to recover our posture and our breath, but still continue to work. Good, keep your abs drawn in tight to that spine. Really support your back here. Beautiful. Four more raises with that ball. Front of the chest, press your shoulders down. Three, and down. Two, feel that connection of your shoulder blades pressing down to your hips. Cap those core muscles. Hold it, just that passe. Now I'm just gonna turn to a three quarter so you can see this, but you can stay straight on to me if you'd like. All we're gonna do is take our right leg and tap it behind us, coming into just a little semi-split squat. So just give me a little pulse so then we keep you moving while we set up the next exercise. So arms are gonna raise over the head. So notice how I'm hinging forward slightly from my hips. Spine is still nice and long. So what we're gonna do from here is we're gonna take that back leg. We're gonna come into a passe position. This knee stays bent. We chop, we raise, chop, raise. So you're gonna hold that lunge in the back leg. It's just a slight lunge. You're hinging from your hips. You're chopping down and across to that front hip. Work those abs. Good. That's it. Nice. Chop it across. Chop it across. Beautiful. Now listen, we're gonna start to pump this up a bit. I want you to come back to that split squat. Pulse and hold. Pulse. You're gonna take it up to tempo. You're gonna give me a knee pull with the ball looks like this. Pull it in, 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 in. You hang here or bring the ball over your head for a little more intensity. Hold that squat in your back leg. I know that back leg is talking to you, maybe shouting at you. It is for me too. Stay with me though. You can do it. Hold, passe, breathe. Recover, smile. Let's go back to those passes. Ball out in front of the chest. Overhead for two, enjoy it. Back down in front of your chest. Lift up tall, back in front of that chest. Up for two, press down. Inhale, exhale, beautiful. Up and push. You're doing great. Just remember, keep listening to your body. All I ask is for your personal best today. Two more raises, up and down. Last one, up and down, good. So again, I'm just turning on a three quarter so you can see my position, you don't have to. So now we're gonna take our other leg back behind us, just taking that split squat position, good. So we pulse while we set it up. So the ball is gonna come up over the head. We're gonna hold that split squat. Make sure you're hinging at the hips. Spine stays neutral, chop across, reach, cross, reach. 
Give me a little exhale as you pull that ball down and across your front hip. You got it. That's it. Nice, just a couple more. Get those abs in tighter. Beautiful. Last four. All right, I said a couple more. Maybe I lied a little bit, sorry. One more. Lunge. Pull that ball out in front of you. Keep that slight hinge at the hips. Are you ready? Double tempo, pull it in. Here or take it up and over the head. Maintain that squat in your back leg. Pump it. Use your abs. Yes, good. Four, three, two, one. Side to side. Step taps. Gorgeous, you guys. Really nice work. We're gonna move on. So all I want you to do is move a little bit from side to side. So we're gonna take a little easy grapevine. Side to side. So a grapevine simply crosses behind. One, two, three, tap. Doesn't take up a lot of space, right? Good. So, from here, we're gonna start to add on to this. I want you to move into a triple passe. It goes one, two, three, grapevine. One, two, three, grapevine. Lift. Two, three, grapevine. Up. Two, three, switch sides. So that passe, we did that in the march, right? But now we're turning the knee open to the side of the hip. Tapping the toe to the inside of that standing leg. Lift. Two, three, switch. Up, two, three, switch. Good, lift it. Now, could we maybe try to add that ball? Twist, two, three, up and over. Twist, two, three, up and over. If that's too much, keep it in front of your chest. Pull, two, three, over the head for that grapevine. Lift, two, three, lift. One, two, three, switch. Yeah. So you just take it into whatever level works for you. Of course, Peanut's gonna come right into my grapevine space. Thanks, Peanut. Don't you love working out with your kids and your pets at home? We get it. It's never perfect. You just do the best with what you can, with what you have. Four more right here, it's four. This is three. Last two, up. One more. Set tap. Ah. Breathe it out. Really nice, guys. Let's just take that ball out and switching hands. Out, switch, out, switch. Good. Now, we're gonna start to travel again, side to side. But I want you to start to reach and lean. Side to side. Good. Now, it's gonna make more sense when I show you what's coming up. So you're gonna give me a chasse, lean, switching hands. So I'm leaning away from the direction that I've traveled. Chasse, tap, tap, aha. Uh -huh. Now you can keep this as more of a step or slight little lift off. Again, quiet for our downstairs neighbors. So I wanna give you a second or two to really get into that groove. Yeah. Now once you have it, again, optional, low lift of that outside leg. Open, open, yes, good. Just eight more. Six, five, good. 
good. Four. Almost there. Three. Two. Last set. Down and back. Here we go. Gorgeous. Three. Tap. Let's come back to your first position. Just drive your heels back in and together. Little V. Plie pulse. Yes. Great job, everybody. Reach that ball down to the floor. We're just going to do an alternating tendu. So again, we're working through your feet. We're going to point the right toes out to the side, arms go overhead. We lift, plie switch. Tap, come back to that plie at first position. Nice. Point it. Now, that tendu could become a little degage if you wanted by just brushing the foot through the floor, lengthening and lifting low. So it's not a batma, right? A batma goes way up in the air. Degage stays low to the floor. Just a little brush. Yes. Nice. Beautiful. Stay with me here for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Let's step out to our second position. Plie pulse it. Squeeze into that ball again. So find the chest. Really push. Beautiful. Now let's start to work the waistline just a little bit more here. So what I want you to do, so we're gonna drop down deeper to a nice big grand plie. We're gonna take the ball in our right hand and I want you to reach low to the floor as you can. Maybe it's gonna be the inside of your knee, your shin or your ankles, hold it there. So I want you to pull your shoulder down, feel that nice side crunch through the waistline, stand up, switch hands, go to the other side, plie, side crunch. So it's not a pulse, it's just a nice hold. Come back to the center, you know where this is going, right? I'm gonna take it to singles. Are you ready? Of course you are. Here we go, take it down. Left. Reach. Use those obliques. Good. That's it. You just go as low as you can. Don't round your back. Lean from the sides. Feel that crunch happening in those obliques. Yes. Beautiful. Give me eight more here. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Plie, pulse. Beautiful. Keep the posture tall. No hinging of the hips. Rotate into a lunge to your right. Gorgeous. Now we're going to take the ball in our back hand. We're going to extend the arms out into about a 90 degree angle. Yeah, come back in. Reach out, come back in. We're gonna add the back leg. So we're gonna lift up, lunge down. Lift up, lunge down. Shift forward. Again, the leg doesn't have to be high. In fact, you can keep the toes tapping on the floor if you need to because we're gonna make this faster in just a sec. Use your abs to lift you up. Get ready. Single tempo, go. Up, down, up, down. Think long lines. Lifting through the crown of your head. Reach. Beautiful. Squeeze. Give me eight more on this side. Eight, seven, six, five, four. Smile, because you're almost done with this leg. Last two. Plie, pulse, hold. Breathe. Yes, we have to do the other side. Just a moment. Get there slowly. Ready, pivot this hip and heel to the other leg. So we have that nice lunge. Just your arms, back arm holds the ball. Reach, bring it back. Out, sink a 90 degree angle. Front arm is right in front of your shoulder, side arm is directly out to the side. Ready, let's go slow. Up and down. So this is where we make sure we can control the movement first before we add speed. Lift up, pointing the back foot, tapping the floor if you need to. 
or lifting it. Now, if you're a ballerina, you wanna go into that full arabesque, by all means, don't let me stop you. Good, couple more slow. I can't look at you because I'm losing my balance here, so find your focus point. Let's go faster, here we go. Up, tap, up, lunge, reach. Find that 90 degree angle with those arms. Yes, out, beautiful, keep it going. Last eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Come back, plie pulse. Okay, get your center again. We do one more set of that grand plie, side oblique reach. Come down, up, right into it because you know it now. Reach from that waistline. Good. That's it. Extend. Feel that energy expanding out, then bring it back into your center. So you don't want to give it all away. You've got to keep some of it so that you can always find your center. Isn't that true in daily life, too? You can't give everything away. You've got to keep some of that energy for you so you can stay grounded and centered and focused on what really matters. Four more. Two more. Beautiful side to side. <sighs> you guys are doing fabulous. So proud of you. So let's keep on moving. Come back to your first position, plie pulse. Now, because repetition leads to mastery, we're gonna practice that little passe pushover that we did earlier that gave us a little thigh break too. Do you remember what it looked like? Here's your refresher. Step, pulse. Step, pulse. Step, pulse. And I think we took the arms overhead, didn't we? Yeah, do you remember it now? So work through the feet, plie. Work through the feet, plie. Get it back into your body, get ready. Single tempo, let's go. Cross plie, cross plie. Yes. Good. Step, plie, step, plie. Four, three, two, one plie pulse. Hold. Beautiful. Now, we're going to keep our right leg bent. We're gonna reach the left arm up and reach the right arm out to the side. I want you to give me a nice lean. Tap that outside leg. So our left leg is nice and long. We're gonna do a little side crunch. Up, reach, up, reach. So we're winding down. This is your final work for your abs. Then we'll stretch, then you're done. Can you believe it? In, reach. Good. Squeeze. Nice. Keep that opposite arm reaching out, even though it's not moving anywhere. Give it some energy. Four, three, two. Now hold. Grab the ball with both hands. I want you to square up your body towards that right leg. We're going to round the spine. We're going to bring this back knee through into a little rounded attitude scoop. Looks like this. In, stretch out long. Round and lift. So I'm gonna round my spine, scoop my abs in, and then lengthen back out. Exhale, a lot of balance, I know. Reach, reach. Now that you know it, let's go a little bit faster. Eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, arms overhead, first position, plie. I'm going to set up the other side. Just breathe. We're almost done, so that should put a nice big smile on your face, right? So we're going to keep the right arm overhead, reach the left arm in line with the shoulder. Shift your weight into this left leg, keep the knee bent, point the right toes long. Get ready, 
bend your knee to your elbow, crunch, reach away. So you gotta put your weight in that standing leg strong. So sweaty, that ball is hard to hold on to. If you find that to be the case, guys, play it safe and just set the ball down. You can also just reach your hand. But if you drop the ball, no big deal, especially if it's a light one. It's not gonna hurt anything if it drops on the floor, right? If we drop it on peanuts, you might be a little surprised, that's all. Two more. Last one, hold it, reach away. So now we square up towards that ball. Reach out long, slowly. Keep that back knee bent. You're gonna round the back. Front attitude, extend back out. Exhale, inhale. So slower is harder, so we have to balance longer. So really focus on those abdominals. Draw them into your spine. Round, make a nice big C curve with the back. And then extend back out, open your chest. Exhale, inhale. Two more and then we'll take it faster. One more slowly. Now keep that same control. Faster tempo. Eight, reach. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Beautiful, now keep your feet wide. Come down to that grand plie. Take the ball in your left hand. Stretch out and over, reach. Do it again, come down for two counts. Stretch same way, out and over, down. Lift one more slow. Single tempo, eight, reach, seven, six, five, four, three, two, Hold, switch, hands come center. So we lift, out and over. Plie, make sure the ball's in the other hand. You're reaching out and over to your left now. Good. Are you ready? Single count. Eight, seven, six, five, four, One, beautiful, hold your plie. Bring the ball back in, just turn to the side. We're gonna press the back heel into the floor. Back leg is almost straight. Just taking a nice stretch. Take a deep breath. Exhale, round your back, tuck your chin to your chest, push that ball away from you. Ooh, that should feel good. Good. Bring it in, take the ball behind your back. See if you can grab onto it with both hands, maybe. Roll your shoulders back and down, open your chest. Deep breaths. If you can take your hands up higher behind you, go for it. Gorgeous, let's turn to the center and just carefully set that up on the other side. So we're gonna bend the front knee. We're gonna press that back heel down, keeping the back leg as straight as we can, keeping the heel in contact with the mat. Ball in front of your chest. Take a deep breath in, turn the palms away. Exhale, round, stretch across that upper back. Just slowing down the breath. Lift up tall, take both hands behind you. See if you can grab a hold of the ball. Open across that chest, just reach your arms up as high behind your back as you comfortably can. Nice, let's turn center. Taking the feet just hip distance apart, keeping your knees soft. Grab that ball with both hands back in front of your body. Take a big inhale, stretch the ball to the ceiling. With that softness in your knees, stretch out and over to your right. Drop and round your back, reach to the floor. Let's make a circle coming up and around to our left. We're gonna slowly reverse that. Take a nice deep inhale, out and over to the left side. Release it to the floor. Up and over. And let's do that one more time in each direction. Inhale, out and over. Slowly release down to the floor. Peanut looks exhausted for us. And to the other side. Last time, here we go. Out and around. Beautiful. 
beautiful. Good. Now, from standing, just turning to the side so you can see it, I want you to just reach the ball in front of your chest. Give me a flat back hinge forward. Now bend your knees and just walk that ball till it touches the floor, but your fingertips are still on top of it. So I really have to bend my knees to keep that length in my spine. If I straighten my legs, this happens, right? We don't want to round the back. So bend your knees as much as you need to here. You're going to keep your back hand lightly grabbing that ball. And I want you to just open up that right arm towards the ceiling and look up towards your hand. Just take a nice gentle twist. Deep breaths here. If it bothers your neck to look up, you can certainly keep looking at the floor. Slowly untwist back to the ball, and let's switch sides. So bottom hand is your support against the ball. Slowly press down so you have that leverage for that rotation. Opening the opposite arm up to the sky, look up to your hand. Beautiful, come back to the ball. Now we're gonna leave the ball on the floor. So just walk your fingertips down to the floor. Now you can let your back round, maybe extend your legs a little straighter. Softening the knees again, draw your belly button into your spine, support your back. Let's slowly roll up one vertebrae at a time. Your head is gonna come up at the very last second. And now just stretching for the back here, hands right behind your hip bones. Feet are still hip distance apart, knees are still soft. I want you to squeeze your elbows back in together. Give me a back extension. Slowly come back up. Do it again, pull your elbows back in together, extend back. And one more for the win. You just go back as far as feels comfortable to your spine. Just taking that nice gentle realignment of the back. Beautiful, and coming center to finish off on the right foot. Cross one leg behind, take a nice deep breath in. Give me a little curtsy. And let's take it to the other side. Inhale, crossing back, and curtsy down. Thank you guys so much for experimenting with me today. I hope you enjoyed this cardio ball ballet workout. I know Peanut and I sure did. And we look forward to sweating with you again tomorrow. Please don't forget to subscribe to our channel, like and share your favorite workouts, and we'll, we'll see you for another sweat fest real soon. Take care, everybody.